I, of course, am Miss Hannah, and welcome to my brand new area to do story time in. Isn't it cool? Well, as you saw in the beginning with all my stuff on my shelf, our theme for this month is dinosaurs, and our big word is paleontology. Can you say that for me? Paleontology. Good job. It means the study of dinosaurs. So this week, we're going to do some kind of dinosaur facts. We're going to learn about a few dinosaurs. So let me get my first book. Oh, Our first book is How Big Was a Dinosaur? And this is by Anna Milburn and Serena Rilligetti. So would you like to read with me? Let's go. Pipkin was a very small penguin who was always asking very big questions. Where do flowers come from? How do birds fly? What's inside our world? But the thing he wanted to know most of all was, how big was a dinosaur? Pipkin's mama said, to answer, you'd have to go back in time before penguins or people or cities, or snow, when the world was warm and covered in forest. All right, said Pipkin, and he did just that. Do you see him going in? A group of creatures scuttled through the trees. Excuse me, said Pipkin, how big is a dinosaur? We are dinosaurs! I'm a dinosaur, said a little creature, and I'm this big! Are you the biggest one? said Pip, as Pipkin. No, said the dinosaurs. I'm not as big as him. A fresh, snappy creature dashed through the trees. Excuse me, said Pipkin. How big is a dinosaur? I am a dinosaur. So the creature snapped, and I am this big. Are you the biggest one? asked Pipkin. No, said the dinosaur. I'm not as big as her. Do you see the dinosaur? What sort of dinosaur do you think it is? Maybe. A gnashing, slashing creature crashed through the trees. <laughs> Excuse me, said Pipkin. Do you see little Pipkin over here? How big is the dinosaur? I'm a dinosaur, said the creature, and I'm this big. Said Pipkin, and you have very big teeth. But you're not as big as him. Look how big that dinosaur is. A stomping, clumping creature marched across the plains. Excuse me, said Pipkin. How big is a dinosaur? I'm a dinosaur. The creature boomed. And I'm this big. Are you really the biggest one? Yes, said the dinosaur. I'm as big as big can be. I'm really nearly as big. Me and me. Do you want to count the dinosaurs with me? Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you see little Pipkin up here? Look how little he is compared to the dinosaurs. When Pipkin came home, he said to his mama, There are all kinds of dinosaurs. Different dinosaurs. Groups of little scuttling ones. And bigger rushing snapping ones. And even bigger ones with big scary teeth. But the biggest dinosaur of them all was as longer than long, taller than tall, and as big as big can be. Mama, do you think I'll ever grow up to be a dinosaur, big as a dinosaur? Pipkin asked. Eat your dinner, my little Pip. Mama said, and we shall see. Now, I got something to show you real quick. I got a special poster. Let's see if I can I'll put my book down. Get it all the way out. Hopefully my camera is big enough that you can see it all. This, oh, I got it back all the way up. 
is shows how big some of the dinosaurs were. If you look over on one side, over here, right around this side, you can see that some dinosaurs were taller than houses and taller than trees. Look over here, you can see them taller than all types of trees. And you look at this big one in the middle. I got look at his name. His name was Amphilicus uh, Fragilius. And he's 197 feet long. That's so big. That's bigger, almost as big as a football field. Isn't that cool? Would you like to do a song and rhyme with me? Would you like to do a special rhyme with me? Then let's go upstairs and Talia is waiting for us to go do a song to do a special rhyme where we get to act like a dinosaur. Let's go. Hi, welcome to our rhyme corner. I've got Talia with me to here to help me do some fun rhyme. She's gonna help me do all the actions. Are you guys ready? Can you help Talia? All right, you ready? This is called dinosaur moves and Miss Hannah's got her little cheat sheet here to help her. All right, spread your arms way out wide. Spread your arms. Good job. Fly like a pterodon. Fly, can you fly like a pterodon like Talia? Fly, Talia. Soar and glide. Soar and glide, Whee! Good job. All right, you ready? Now, bend down to the floor. Bend down, oh, we can't see you, Tally. We have to pretend. Bend down to the floor. Move like a stegosaur so you can crunch your back over. Make yourself a, make yourself, make your back all turn like that. There you go, like a stegosaur. Long ago, all right, ready for another one? Can you reach up tall, reach up high, reach up tall. Good job, reach up tall. Reach tall as you can be, as tall as an apisaurus. Eating from tree up to knee. Are you tall like an apisaurus? All right, ready? Now using your tall claws, let's get some claws, get some claws. Grumble and growl, grumble and growl. You're gonna be T-Rex. Grumble and growl. Can you grumble and growl? Just like a T-Rex on the property. Should we do them all again? All right, first we're gonna spread our arms like a pterodon. All right, fly like a pterodon. There you go, good job, Talia. Soaring, are you soaring and gliding? All right, ready? Now bend over like a stegosaurus. There you go, bend over and you hunch your back like a stegosaurus. All right, long go. Now, ready? Reach up tall, reach up tall like an apisaurus. And now let's eat some plants. All right, now let's get our claws out and we're gonna be a T-Rex. Good job. Let's go read one more story. Hi, I'm back to read. I got another book for us. This one's called, It's Probably a Good Thing Dinosaurs Are Extinct. It's going to tell us all about that. You ready? Here we go. This is by Ken Rainey. I love dinosaurs. In fact, I love dinosaurs so much, I always thought I'd like to have one for a pet. But when you think about it, it's probably good dinosaurs are extinct. Just imagine how different the world would be if dinosaurs were alive today. Think how big a zoo would have to be. Look at that. Can you imagine going to see a dinosaur at a zoo? A drive across the country would come to a sudden and long halt if a herd of apasaurus went across the road. And there would be more than dolphins and seagulls to watch on a trip to the beach. Look at that dinosaur. If you went to the beach and saw that dinosaur, the world's more famous places would look a little different if dinosaurs from the earth. Think of a pterosaurus going across the pyramids. You see the pyramids? And there's a pterosaurus right there. Isn't that crazy? And the Redwood National Forest, the brachiosaurus would be nearly as tall as the trees. Wouldn't that be crazy?
and the site would have been a stegosaurus would hitch to an old covered wagon instead of an oxen they use a stegosaurus can you imagine some of the jobs if dinosaurs still existed it would be real courage to be a paper boy look can you imagine throwing that instead of a dog you'd have a dinosaur And a rodeo cowboy wouldn't want to get bucked off a protoceratops. Look at that. And can you imagine what it'd be like to be a veterinarian? Oh my goodness. Would you want to be a veterinarian for a dinosaur? Still, dinosaurs could be useful for things like in a parade, an apisaurus would always attract a crowd. And wouldn't it look... It wouldn't look like a Stratosaurus would look like a wouldn't a Stratosaurus look look grand at the winner of a Kentucky Derby. But most of all, if dinosaurs were still around, can you think how much moms and dad would dread hearing? Can I keep them, please? I'm gonna learn about having a pet dinosaur in a few weeks. So I guess all in all, it's probably good dinosaurs are extinct. That end. I've got a special craft, but first, let's do the big word of the month. The big word of the month is paleontology, and it means the study of dinosaurs. So can you do that with me? We're going to do it three times, because that's how many times it takes to get into our brains. Ready? One, two, three. Paleontology, the study of dinosaurs. Two more times. Here we go. One two, three. Paleontology, the study of dinosaurs. One, two, three. Paleontology, the study of dinosaurs. Good job. Let's go see our craft. A fun craft might be to make yourself into a stegosaurus. Look, I'm a stegosaurus. Look, I even have my own horn, see? Oh, isn't that fun? Do you want to be a stegosaurus? You could make your you can make it out of paper. And I want to see all of it. Have a that's it for today. Have a great week. Maybe you can tell me your favorite dinosaur down in the comments. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.